Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Leo Hightower, and this is a new Let's Play project that I have wanted to work on for a good while. It's been 24 years since this game last came out, but I don't really care too much, even though it is old, but regardless though, this is going to be a project I am very happy to do. And because of that, I am doing this on actual hardware. This is not on Nintendo Switch Online N64. This is actual hardware, and this is Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. <sighs> it's been a long time since I've actually touched this game. I haven't played it in a while either. Hope I'm not too rusty. <laughs> but no music at the title screen just makes me wonder what in the world makes me wonder what in the world sorry i have to step away from my uh microphone for a minute but yeah kirby 64 is a game that i bought one day on a whim because it was one of those things where i'm like oh kirby on n64 well finally especially after playing super smash brothers for the bajillionth time, and I was just curious as to what this game was about. The first time I played it, I was like, huh, oh, this is nice and cute. But now, it's like, uh, it feels like, hmm, I can't really describe what it feels like. But regardless though, I am proud to give you this LP project, but let's get started, shall we? There's my 100% save file. We are going to start a new save file. And we are going to do this with class. There are some cutscenes in the game that I'm not going to talk over. But at the same time, I might also give my uh, little bit of info on this with my mini Leon pop-up, if you guys remember, from Ga Gaia that I would usually use. But anyway, we're gonna get started with this. Let's get started with this LP project, shall we? This is Leo Let's Plays Kirby 64. And the copy abilities are a little different in this game. So yeah, do you know how to use Kirby's copy ability? I'll go into more in-depth as the uh, video goes by. But I may as well play the uh, instruction, uh, the tutorial. But yeah, you basically push the B button to inhale and you use it to exhale. You inhale enemies with B and you push down with B. I mean, down with the control pad. When Kirby swallows a specific enemy, like it breathes fire or it uses sword, Kirby gets that power. But if you don't want the special power, just push the C, L, or R button and push the B button to throw. But here's the catch. If you hit two enemies that have special abilities you get a power combo so for instance that enemy will spike kirby inhaled fire now there's different combinations kirby is a fire arrow so isn't that something but yeah that's the basic gimmick with this kirby game besides the usual copy abilities and everything we have different abilities that can be used. Here's another one. Stone and spike. Kirby's hand becomes a drill. There are all sorts of combinations. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started, shall we? Oh! Oh?
Alrighty. And our first level is Popstar. Where all Kirby games begin. Alrighty. There are three crystal shards that we need to find in the first level. And I'm pretty sure we'll find them as the adventure goes by. I plan to do a 100% run of this whole entire game, getting all the crystal shards. And that should be something very nice. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, inhale a fire enemy, we get the fire ability. Inhale Sir Kibble, the classic cutter ability. Fire and cutter, it gives us a unique sword ability. Flaming sword. Which I adore more than anything, but yeah, the basic gimmick of this whole entire game is the various copy abilities that you can play with, play around with and everything. There are all sorts of combinations, and uh, there's so many unique abilities that you can get while using them. But mostly, most of all, our main objective in this game is to collect all the crystal shards that have spread throughout the uh, various planets and whatnot. That is the basic gimmick of it, and uh, I will go in depth into the basic uh, lore of this game when I clear uh, the first stage, basically. So yes. This enemy had nothing. I believe they're called N2s if I'm right. Anyway, I want to throw away the fire sword ability because um, there's a specific ability I need to get in this various stage because with how they do the various uh, crystal shards they do a pretty good job of hiding them you collide with an enemy of course you take help but uh eating uh various foods and whatnot you uh gain health and the stars are not just collectibles but they collect a whole bunch of them in the bar fill when the bar fills up and whatnot you basically um you basically get a 1-up, so I believe collecting, uh, how many is it? I forget, but regardless though, anyway, this is what I needed the bomb ability for. There was a crystal shard right there. Oh, and the little fairy who's helping us, uh, who we're helping collect the crystal shards from, her name is Ribbon. Double bomb, fire off rockets. Haha. <laughs> anyway, Our first boss battle, we have Waddle Doo. Oh. Uh, innocent little Waddle Dee has been corrupted by the main enemy of this game. Um, dark Matter. Once again, that pesky Dark Matter is back. The Waddle Doo has various animations for if his attacks actually collide. But we managed to beat him without any problem. And there's the third crystal shard. Yeah! The dark matter is vanished, and the Waddle D is safe. Thank you! Bye bye! But, because we helped the Waddle D out, he wants to help us. I believe that Waddle D would go to, on to become Bandana Waddle D. And here's the stage clear uh, uh, space. There's all sorts of goodies and whatnot, but what we really want is the card. Yeah. 
But anyway, we go on to the next stage. But first, before I do anything else, let me explain exactly what is going on in this game, if I may. So, I have to reset the game. So, hang on a minute. Here's the basic story. On the planet called Ripple Star right here, inhabited by little fairy, fairy creatures, all of a sudden one day, an old enemy makes its presence known as it soon engulfs Ripple Star. That pesky dark matter from the last couple of Kirby Dreamland games is back, and it wants the crystal shard that's on Ripple Star. The queen instructs Ribbon, a young fairy, to take the crystal out of Dark Matter's hands, but Dark Matter is treacherous and it sends scouts out to chase after Ripple, well, st uh, a ribbon. And not too long afterwards, the crystal shatters and Ribbon falls to Planet Popstar. Kirby, who's just out uh, one night admiring the stars, he gets hit by Ribbon, who falls to the planet. A crystal shard falls by, and Ribbon wakes up on Popstar, wondering what is going on, and that the shard crystal has been shattered. But Kirby nearby alerts Ribbon to his presence and one of the crystal shards. They reunite the crystal, and so on. Ribbon then tells Kirby that she must scatter the crystal scattered around. Kirby, being the helpful little buddy he is, agrees to help Ribbon, and Ribbon accepts Kirby's help. I'm trying to explain this as best as I can, so yeah, you'll have to forgive me. As we progressed throughout the game, a Waddle D came across a crystal shard one day in the stage we passed earlier, but unbeknownst to him, a dark matter appears. The Waddle D admires the crystal with such glee, until it turns around. And then, the dark matter soon possesses him. Kirby and Ribbon, who happen to be going through Popstar, soon encounter the Waddle D. But because he's possessed by Dark Matter, he then turns into a Waddle Do, and you have to fight against him. Waddle on. After vanquishing the Dark Matter, and of course, as I explained before, Kirby waves goodbye to the Waddle D. But the Waddle D, being thankful for what Kirby did, he decides to go along with them. And thus, the journey continues. So, yeah, that's basically the gist of what is going on in Kirby 64. I never played any of the first Dreamland games where you fight the Dark Matter and whatnot, but those are games I'm probably going to look up one day because this is actually the third and final game of the Dark Matter trilogy. Those being Kirby Dreamland, Kirby Dreamland 3, I believe? And this one, Kirby 64, and I gotta tell you, the, those are very fun games and whatnot. I was not expecting to enjoy this game as much as I did back then. But regardless though, huh, I definitely grabbed a gem of a game when it came to grabbing Kirby 64. Anyway, we're gonna go on to the second level of the game. I start off with two lives, and I have six little uh, hits to uh, basically go through the game with. Oh, I lost the bomb ability, but that's okay. Inhale this creature, uh, critter, and we turn into Stone Kirby. And stone's pretty much invulnerable, except for if you uh, collide with uh, a spike enemy. But yeah, all the enemies in this game have various abilities and whatnot. But some enemies won't do anything. <coughs> Sorry. There's the... Maxim Tomato, if you grab the Maxim Tomato, then yeah. Anyway, let's see. 
bomb and rock give us oh it's dynamite but if you push down on the, the control pad you get a safety helmet and you're protected by the explosion that's important to know push down and you get a safety hat to be protected from the explosion these mortal enemies don't give us anything which sucks There are a whole bunch of enemies in this game that I forget the names to. I apologize, especially because I'm supposed to be a Kirby aficionado. But regardless, though, uh, I just play these games to have fun, and there's an electric enemy. Bomb and electric? Turn into a light bulb. Okay. I know that that ability is useful in a later part for something, but I'm just gonna go on ahead. Anyway, Spike. Spike and Electric. Ooh, a little lightning rod. Ah, Chili. Hello, Chili. We are freezing the enemies around us. Ooh. But yeah, one other thing I like to point out is Kirby can't stay in the air for too long. He will run out of air. I think this is the first Kirby game to do something like this. Yes. You can stay in the air for a good while, but Kirby will eventually start to, um... He'll start to, um, he'll basically do that, and you'll have to let out, uh, air, uh, air. Oh! Hey, Waddle D! Oh. Climb aboard? Okay. Waddle D is basically gonna chariot us down on this, uh, lift. But yeah, as we gain more allies as we go throughout this game, they will help us out in many ways. If I'm correct, there's a crystal shark coming up. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Okay. I want to hurry back onto the lift as quick as possible. Okay. Thank you! We don't really need the cake to recover energy, but that's okay. Oh! But I'll take that one up right there. And because we gathered enough of those little stars, we gain a 1-up for our effort. And here we have another mini-boss. It's one of those little hopping pogo things. Upon defeating it, there's our second crystal shard. Now we move on. And here is our next character to join our fray. It's, uh, I believe her name is Adeline. I believe in Kirby Dreamland 3, she had a brother, or maybe this is the same character, I don't know, but yeah. Uh-oh. Dark Matter again! Uh oh Looks like we're gonna have to fight out a lane. Yep! Adeline is going to paint out a bunch of baddies that we have to basically attack. But yeah. That's the basic gist of the first phase. I think there are four phases that Adeline will go through as she paints out various uh, enemies for us to attack. Okay. Next! This Ice Dragon. I know I could have easily cheesed this whole entire fight by uh, beating uh, beating the boss without a copy ability, but I don't feel like doing it. Okay. But for this one, I will beat the, this boss right here without a copy ability.
This enemy will basically drop down little bits that uh, we can shoot back at him. And occasionally, he will try to dash into us. But it's not a problem or anything. And that one's down. Now Adeline is going to try and attack us on her own. But it's not a problem. Slide, and that's it. Oh yeah, pushing down an A basically lets us do the slide ability. And there's the third crystal shard. Another crystal shard recovered. We gain more power. Adeline, you okay? As thanks for helping, Adeline, she wishes to join us. So, why not? The more the merrier. Now Adeline has joined our little crew. I'll take the one up. I'll get the card another time. But yeah. Anyway, move on to the third stage, but I think I'll save that for another time. This is Leo Hightower. Thank you guys very much for watching. This is the first episode of Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards. I will see you guys in the next episode. And I hope you all stay golden. Until then, Leo is out. Peace!